Hey, welcome to the show, my friends out there. Hey, I got another challenging math puzzle for you. And what I want you to do is go ahead and pause the video. And when you're ready to check it with me, hit the play button. Now, when we do puzzles like this, remember each of these shapes is like a variable. So we need to find the number. So what I like to do is at first, I just like to take a look at each line to see which one I might want to solve first and if it has any information. So this one right here, I think this would have too many variables. So if I were to put 10 in there, 10 minus seven, yeah, it, it would be three here. Or if I did, you know, 15 minus seven, it would be eight. Can't solve this one. This is interesting because the uh, rectangle here, the green rectangle is equal to the star. So whatever value this one is, it's gonna be the same here. Uh, this one, <laughs> too many variables to put in there. Here we have nine plus one equals and then we have a circle and a circle. Remember, the value of this is gonna be the same as this one here. So taking a look at this equal sign, remember it's a balance act. It has to have the same value here and the same value there. So nine plus one would be 10. Now, a lot of my students, when they put the number over here, they forget to take the 10 and divide it by two. So 10 divided by two would equal five. So if you got five, you are on a great start there. So now every time I see a circle, an orange circle, I'm gonna go ahead and put five right next to it. And now I have enough information to do this problem here. So I have star minus seven equals five. All right, so some number minus seven equals five. So what do you think is the most common mistake that students might put right here? Yeah, they'll put two right there and they'll say two minus seven equals five, but no, it's like saying I have two um, pieces of candy and you're taking seven away. So it's not five, all right? So what number do you think would be here? Yeah, that would be 12. So 12, minus seven would equal five, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12. All right. So this is um, just to kind of go off course a little bit. This is kind of an interesting problem right here. Um, this is, let's put Y as the star, Y um, minus seven, and then I will equal the five. All right. And then, so I need to get this alone. So the opposite of subtraction would be addition. So if I take y minus seven plus seven, whatever I do here, I have to do on the other side. So that would be five plus seven. This is like upper grade mathematics. And so negative seven plus a seven would just wipe it out. And so you would just have y equals five plus seven. And then that is y equals 12. And that's how I got this value right there. All right, so this is a little bit of upper uh, math. I love these math puzzles because it's always challenging. You're doing, you're, you know, like I teach third grade, but you're also showing some middle school algebra. It's just totally fun. So, all right, we have 12 for the star. So I put 12 right over here and 12 equals 12. So I put 12 right there. So now our rectangle is 12. So I go ahead and add that up. If you want to do it the old fashioned way, it's 12 plus 12 and five. And 12 plus 12 would be, if you want to do it long way, it would be, um, I mean, short ways. What am I talking about? Short ways or long ways? <laughs> if you want to do it the easy way is 12 plus 12 would be 24, 24 plus five would be 29. If you want to uh, write it out, it would be two plus two would be four, four plus five is nine and then one plus one is two. All right, got a little tongue tied there, but uh, hey, uh, we all came out with the same answer, I'm hoping. I'm hoping you are having a great day out there. I'd sure appreciate it if you hit that likey button. That means a lot for me and the subscribe button. Check out the other videos and channels I have on here. And like always, have a fun day. Adios, goodbye.